Hey everybody, how's it, how are you doing? How is it going? Oh my goodness, we are quickly, quickly wrapping up 2022. I don't know when um, you're listening to this. I don't know if you guys listen out of order or if you just kind of listen <clears throat> to the newest episodes as they are released. But anyways, it is almost the end of 2022. And so you know it is always the biggest time of year for me is always reflection. I love this time of year, but I'm going to come at you a little bit today with um, what my lovingly close friends call a little New York Michelle. All right. And so as you're getting ready to wrap up the year, I want you to really, really, truly, if you are not part of the Conquer 2023 Biz Plan program, which <clears throat> I highly suggest you should be because, I mean, these are the things that we're going to be talking about all the time and making sure that you truly do conquer 2023. And one of the reasons is for this one that I'm about to talk to about right now. So one of the things that I really want you to take the time to reflect on is I want you to look back at your goals. Hopefully you have somewhere written down or you had well, first of all, if you don't have goals written down, that's step number one, okay? You've got to have goals written down that you can kind of reflect back on, all right? And you can do this annually. You can do this monthly. We are, um, I'm really going to focus on 60-day um, sprints this year. But here's the thing. What I want you to stop doing is stop setting these fluffy fucking goals that are just, you know, I want to hit 100K months. Like, I'm literally looking at um, a post right now on Facebook of a woman who's looking for a coach that's just saying that she's looking for somebody that is going to help hold her to her 100K months. Well, what the frig does that even mean? What does it even mean? Do you even have a business that's set up to make 100K months? Like, I don't even understand that. Like, so how can a coach come in and hold you accountable to that without having any kind of clear strategy around it? So anyways, but my point is this, is that these goals, some of them are awfully fluffy and they're lofty and there's no data behind them. And so I want you to stop doing that. If you feel like you've came up short in 2022, I don't care if you came up short, maybe you nailed it. Maybe you far exceeded your goal. There's that side of the coin too, because if you set a fluffy goal and it's just like some goal you pick, like a pie in the sky number or something random, and there's really nothing that backs it up, then there's a good chance you freaking nailed it and you blew it out of the water. And if you did, amazing. Like, good for you. I'm celebrating you. I'm congratulating you 100%. But now take that data and look at it and set accurate goals for next year. Set data-driven goals, okay? Because the thing is, is these fluffy goals are only going to grow your business so far. And so that is one of the things that I am absolutely not going to even tolerate this year inside the Conquer 2023 program because my job when people hire me and you sign up for these programs is to make sure that you are moving your business forward, right? Like my goal and my job when people hire me is to make sure that they are moving forward. And I can't tolerate and allow these fluffy goals. Like I, um, even inside the Alliance, we've been doing a lot of accountability at the end of every mastermind. I don't even allow fluffy accountability. Like, don't tell me, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna work on, I'm going to do some follow-ups this week. Okay, how much? Who? Like, who are you following up with? How many, how many people are you following up with? How are you following up with them? Right? Like, these are the things that you need to be thinking about when you're setting your goals for 2023. And so I personally think it's a little difficult to set massive goals for, the entire year, just because life changes, the year changes, biz changes, there's so many things. However, I do think that you can set some visions for it. And But if you want to set a revenue goal, <clears throat> and I'm setting a revenue goal myself this year, I have, I know exactly where I'm starting from, but here's what you need to do is you need to truly look at where you're starting from, which means you've got to go and pull your P&L, right? Like look at your profit and loss statement and see where's your revenue at this year, and how did you get there, right? Like what worked? This is where that reflection piece comes in. Like what was your best selling offer? How did you make this money? What, where can you make more money? Especially if you're looking to increase, right? Like I know exactly what I need to do to increase that revenue. And, but I want you to kind of work backwards. Like where you have to think about like, what does it take, you know, for a lot of people, I'm going to use one goal that's like, I have, a lot of people that say they want to hit 10K months or 20K months, okay? 
That's great. What does that look like? Is 20K months really where you want to be? Like, I want you to think about this. I want you to really dive into the data. I want you to look at, like, what are your monthly expenses? Um, what are you looking to pay yourself? What are you saving for taxes? What investments are you trying to make into your business? Um, <laughs> my dog is playing with her ball. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. Like literally look at all of these things and then add all of that up and then also look at like how many clients does that take? If you're watching the video now, you can see her playing with the ball. Um, sorry, I digress. She's having fun. Um, you know, like really, truly looking at the data is 20K months like and where does that come from? Like, what do you plan on doing with the extra and how do you plan on getting there? Is it because you want to have a lot of profit is it because you want to build like I'm all for the wealth and abundance. Like, but what I'm also saying is like, is 20K enough? Like, you know, if you want to have $100,000 in the bank at the end of the year and you've got to pay your taxes and you've got to pay yourself and then you also want to make sure that on the personal side, you have 100000 or $10,000 in the bank at the end of the year, right? Like, do all of these things make sense, right? And so stop setting these fluffy goals. Like, I want you to truly look into the data of it all and figure out, like, what does that goal need to be? And then... Um, Hold on. I got to pause this for a second because the dog is going to knock over all my books. Hold on. Okay. That's a first that I had to actually do that. <laughs> we bought her this ball, this tennis ball and, oh God, she loves it. It's a huge tennis ball. Um, anyways. All right. So I really want you to look at the data. Okay. Like looking at your data. And then I want you to set goals that are st this model from X to Y by when, all right? And this is where I'm saying, like, it could be that you are incrementally working at this. You could set a one month goal or a two month goal to increase revenue. What, look at your December revenue. If December is a good month, now again, like December for a lot of people, they slow down. So December's not the best month. So you might want to average it, you know, like you could look at your averages and then Increase. So start with the verb increase or save X, you know, save, um, increase savings from X to Y by when, right? Like whatever that looks like. Um, and this could go for all of your goals, but really, truly. And then it's one thing to set the goal, right? That's your outcome. We've talked about this. I've got an entire training on this outcome versus process goals. This is the outcome, right? The $20,000 in the savings account, the $20,000 months, the whatever it is, those are your outcome goals, right? That's the outcome you are desiring. What is the process? What are the commitments? What are the actions you need to take? And this is where you've got to break that goal down, okay? What does it take to hit $20,000 a month in your business? How many clients? How many hours? Because then the next step is looking to make sure that that is even physically possible with your current business model, right? Like, do you have packages and offers that are going to get you to $20,000 a month in the amount of hours you have available, right? Like we talk about this all the time and this is where I'm really going to help everybody inside the Conquer 2023 program is to make sure that all of these things are in alignment because if you're not if they're not in alignment, they're not physically possible. You cannot physically pass <laughs> these goals, right? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, I know people don't like data and I know that it's fun to, you know, and we've got to have big visions. But like, if you listen, Mel Robbins has a fabulous podcast on manifestation about, it's not just about envisioning the 20,000 you know, dollar a month. It's about manifesting and really visualizing what are the steps you need to be taking? Who are the people you need to be talking to, right? Like looking into all of the actions. Yes, you can manifest all of those things and you can really visualize them, but you've got to be willing and you've got to know what the actions are. You've got to step into the entire, you've got to embody the entire process. And so, if you don't know what those actions are and it's not physically possible, it, then you're going to think like, oh my God, I'm doing something wrong. I can't manifest anything. Things aren't working, right? It's not that. It's that it's physically impossible for you to do. And this is why the data is so, so crucially important. And you need to take the time to really look into this before you just start setting random goals, okay? Don't just set these random fluffy freaking goals. 
They've got to have some data behind it so that you can set up the actions, or as I call them, process. Like I said, outcome versus process. My, my brain is very manufacturing. That was the world I lived in. So we always had a process for every outcome. But what are the processes you need to put in place? And maybe that word intimidates you. Maybe you don't like it. So like, what are your actions? What are your daily activities? What, you know, what are your milestones? What are your targets? Whatever it is, like put, pick a word, but you've got to be willing the, to break it down. That's what it is. The goal has to be able to be broken down into steps that you can very clearly see and go, okay, this is what it's going to take for me to hit this goal. Now I can go and act implement, right? Like it's got to be an implementable, I don't even know if that's a word, goal. Okay. So it's not too late. If you're listening to this live, jump into the Conquer 2023 program, use code podcast, you'll get $50 and off. It's $150 a month for the entire year. It is a steal. I'm telling you, it is like all of the programs I've ever created rolled into one this year. And I am going to make sure you are hitting your goals. That is what is most important. We are going to conquer 2023. We are going to hit goals that we have never hit before. I can promise you that, all right? We are really, truly, this is a a rising tide raises all boats. This is a group effort and everybody inside this program is going to excel. So get your butt there, all right? I'll see you on the inside. And um, stay tuned. There's a lot of changes coming to this podcast. So I'll talk to you soon.